I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we've gathered, the Gadigal people, and pay my respects to the elders both past and present, and welcome to the media this morning. This year at Mardi Gras, our 40th, our beautiful 40th year has passed, and what an amazing year it was, and we thank everyone that celebrated that incredible milestone event. And this year, as we move into our 41st year, we reach out across the world to our global communities and we stand together in solidarity for equality. This year we present a program that places our conversation in a truly global and local place. And if you haven't guessed it, our theme this year, Fearless, provides us a guide to support us in all our vulnerability and our strength. Mardi Gras is an opportunity for us all to pay tribute to the extraordinary history of this organisation and to the many that have lived their lives tirelessly for equality and social justice. And they are our beautiful artists, they are our creatives, they are our boards, our CEOs, our staff, our volunteers, and they are indeed our wonderful 78ers and our elders who've created us passage. This year we present a program and a festival that speaks truly to diversity across age, politics, sexuality, gender, and beliefs. And we do that with many. We, we create these partnerships together to, to present a program that speaks to the world around us. And I'd like to thank some of our creative partners this year. They are the wonderful National Art School. We present the first LGBTQI contemporary art exhibition from Delhi. It is Carriage Works with our wonderful program here, our revamped queer thinking program, and the hit of 2018, Sissy Ball, that we present in partnership with Red Ball Music. It's the Art Gallery of New South Wales. We present our beautiful Queer Art After Hours program. It's our partnership with Mugland Performing Arts. We present our amazing Kurigra program, our First Nations program that continues to evolve and grow each year, and we are so proud of it. It is Queer Screen, we present our international film festival. And our new partner this year, the City Recital Hall, that we are so proud to partner with to present a really important program, the Requiem Mass, which I hope you all attend. I'd also like to thank our corporate partners and our funding bodies who stand by South Side and support our vision. Our wonderful partner ANZ who have stood by our side for 13 years, showing true corporate global leadership and the first to stand in the space of true staff inclusion and policy change. We'd like to thank Destination New South Wales who help us reach out across the globe, the City of Sydney and our fearless Lord Mayor, Clovermore, who supports us side by side. There's a number of partners that work with us over the year. They support our vision and our growth. They stand for equality and inclusion and we welcome them and their pride networks on our parade as part of our community. There's a growing response to Mardi Gras. There's a, there's a growing voice that want to be part of Mardi Gras. And that's a tribute to the continued relevance of our organisation. And within our vision of growth, we can never lose sight of where we came from and we can never lose sight of who we exist for, but we must remain inclusive and we must remain relevant to the growing and changing needs of our community, no matter how that acronym of LGBTQI plus continues to grow. This year, we encourage everyone to bring their fearless selves to Mardi Gras and their fearless friends and their fearless family and be a part of the discussion and be a part of the change that we know we can make together because we know that when we work together, we are stronger. So welcome everyone to the launch of the 41st year. And I'd like to invite our fearless creative leader, Greg Clark, to the stage. Thank you, Therese, that was lovely. Okay, I have, I have the great pleasure of telling you all about the program. Um, I'm Greg Clark, Creative Director, Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. On behalf of the Mardi Gras team, I have the absolute pleasure to present the 2019 Festival Program and highlight some of the incredible new events we have planned. For the first time in many years, we bring back, we bring back a festival club at our new festival hub, Mardi Gras Central at the Seymour Centre. 
Mardi Gras Central will feature an exciting program of local and international queer performance, music, dance, theatre, burlesque, cabaret, all under the one roof. So it's been many, many years since Mardi Gras done this. It's really exciting and we've packed it full of some amazing shows. Highlights include Club Briefs, a wild romp of disco dancing, circus, variety and burlesque with selected guests from across Australia. The rise and fall of St George brings together two of Australia's leading queer artists, pop icon Paul Mack and playwright Lachlan Philpott for a bold new music work. Presented in concert mode, the rise and fall of St George responds to the vandalising of Scott Marsh's St George mural in Sydney's Inner West. Over two spectacular nights, the inaugural Bent Burlesque, featuring the stars of the Vienna Boylesque Festival and the creme de la creme of underground cabaret, circus, satire and drag. Directed by Imogen Kelly and hosted by the award-winning queen of queer cabaret, Jana Alana, Bent Burlesque will feature Jacques Patriarch from Vienna, Mr Gorgeous from New York, Isaiah and Johnny from Portland in the States, and Australian circus superstar Jess Love. And we're really lucky to have Jana with us today. So you'll all be able to meet Jana in a minute if you haven't already. The Butch Monologues comes to Sydney from the UK and presents a powerful collection of secret stories exploring sexuality, vulnerability and desire, taken from interviews with butchers, masculine women, gender rebels and trans men. The Moors, a hyper-theatrical and kinky homage to the Bronte sisters, exploring female power and what it is to write your own story. A delicious new interactive cabaret banquet, I can't even say that word, banquet, Cake Daddy, featuring Ross Anderson Doherty from, from Belfast. Uh, it, this show is amazing. It goes into one gorgeous queer man's experience of fatness, laying bare the fabulosity required for him to live in an image-obsessed world. With incredible LGBTQI artists, from around the world and, a, and across Australia, the program at Mardi Gras Central is going to be incredible. Over the last two years, Mardi Gras has had phenomenal success with terrific new events, such as Queer Art After Hours at the Art Gallery of New South Wales, Luna Park Family Fun Day for our Rainbow Families, Koori Gras, our First Nations program, and the awesome Sissy Ball at Carriage Works. These are events that have expanded the Mardi Gras program. They've reached new and diverse audiences and very, very quickly, they've become incredibly popular. So you'll all be pleased to hear that they're all returning in 2019 alongside a number of very exciting new events, including the Strictly Caftan Party. In case you're wondering why Therese and I are wearing these beautiful caftans, it, this is a new event for us and we're encouraging everybody to wear their most vibrant caftan, their most comfy moo or equally glamorous poolside couture for an evening of outrageous entertainment with your hosts, New Zealand's top twins, DJs and lots, lots more. Haunting and Beautiful, Requiem Mass, A Queer Divine Rite by American composer Holcomb Weller at the City Recital Hall is a remarkable choral walk, work in a remembrance of all those we have lost and those who have suffered persecution for their sexuality or gender expression. The visual arts will also have a focus at Queer Contemporary at the National Art School, featuring an exhibition of work by queer artists from the collection of Dr Dick Kwan, a moonlight tour by artist Todd Fuller and an international exhibition, as Therese mentioned, of LGBTQI artists from India. Over the middle weekend of the festival, right here at Carriage Works, you will meet awe-inspiring and fearless activists, advocates, academics, role models and young people at Queer Thinking and My Trans Stories, the next generation. My Trans Stories brings together the most the next generation of young trans leaders to discuss their struggles, their loves and their triumphs. Our massive 2019 festival program together with Mardi Gras iconic and much loved events like Fair Day, Pool Party, Parade, Party and Laneway look set to be one of the most diverse and provocative programs yet. 
I'd like to thank all the Mardi Gras team who have worked so hard to create this extraordinary program and would now like to share with you our 2019 promo video. Oh.